Look how little they are. <laughs> That one got away and kept going. Grammy, what do you remember about what dad used to do after football games? You mean after the game at night? Well, the, the games didn't get over till maybe 10 o'clock, but then somebody would have an after party, and um, he would go to those parties. He kind of liked to socialize, you know, and he went to parties all around, and um, he usually had a girlfriend that he took, and of course I worried about that a good bit, but that was no point in worrying. But um, he actually met Beth at an after party. He knew who she was and she knew who he was, but if this was right after he had been to the Naval Academy the first time, mm -hmm. and he went to the after party, they always invited him to the after party because he was a big man that had come back from college. <laughs> Didn't matter that he was flunked out. <laughs> but anyway, he went and Beth was there with another boy and they got to talking, and Chuck said, he, he asked her to go if he could take her home, and she said, well, she came with another boy. It was a Ross boy, and the Ross boy told Chuck that he had a bad headache, and he really didn't feel like taking anybody home. He just wanted to go home and go to bed, so Chuck thought that fit right into his plan. So he took Beth home, and they sat up talking, and she had a curfew, and, it, and he didn't know it because he probably would have broken it anyway, but they were sitting at the Weeks' house just talking, 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 and Elmo came down the steps and said it was time for him to go home. And um, I don't think they knew who Chuck was, but anyway, so he went home. <laughs> but he told us that night when he came home, he said, well, I met the girl that I want to marry. And Sharky said, you can't talk about that. You just flunked out of college. <laughs> and he said, well, he did. And so then after that, they went out together a lot, you know, and he became a good friend with Elmo. And I guess Mother Beth liked him too. I don't know if she did to say, but um, he would go there a lot and take Beth to a lot of places, but then the next year, he went back to the Naval Academy. And I think it was the next, he lost the year. I, guess, I don't remember whether it was one year or two, but he went back. And from then on, they went together. And I don't think he dated anybody else up there. I think he just waited on Beth to get older and come up and then she did go to Mary Baldwin College what she went it was a couple of years and um, I guess I don't remember how he, she came to meet his sponsor but at the Academy they always give you a sponsor and that person whoever it is is supposed to entertain your girlfriend if she comes up Ch Chad you look sleepy <laughs> um, and they would take you out and Chuck happened to get a commander that was on the base. So it was very easy, and um, they became real good friends, and Beth went a lot. She just had to go over the mountain, she said. 
and she would drive over and a couple of girls would go with her that had friends there. <laughs> but um, Chuck would be not free all the time, you know, but as much as he could. And they dated that way. And then they got engaged when it was going to be a year till their wedding, a year and a half, because they got engaged. He wanted to ask her to marry him on the dock out at the week's home. And so <laughs> I remember that we were supposed to be in charge of keeping the ring, and it was in Sharky's socks. <laughs> we wrapped it up in a sock and, you know, to protect it because he got the man at De Bouillon's to make this ring like Beth wanted. She, he knew what she wanted. And he had it in there, and on New Year's Eve night, we were at this party that oh, most of the country day people went to. It was at the... Um, it was a country day family. They owned a car agency, I think. But anyway, um, we went to that party at their house, and Chuck and Beth came like about one o'clock, knocked on the door, and of course it was almost time for the party to be over, but they had gotten engaged, and so she wanted to tell her mother and father, and I guess he might have wanted to tell us, I don't know, but but they announced it, and that's how it got announced. <laughs> And then it was in the paper, right? Yeah. Oh, it was in the paper, yes. We found the newspaper clipping going through mom's stuff. They're like, Chuck Sellers and uh, Beth Weeks get engaged and showed up at this party and announced it to the society. You're like, wow. And Grammy, Dad was kind of known as a player in high school, right? Yeah. He dated a lot of people. He did. Did he date sisters? She didn't have a sister. No, not, not mom's. But did Dad used to say that he dated sisters at the same time? He may have, before, I don't know. Before Mom. Before Mom. He went with a lot of the different girls in school. <laughs> he, he liked girls. Mm -hmm. And um, and girls liked him. Yeah, yeah. I guess. Mm -hmm. But I remember Sharky and I didn't want to go to the drive-in theater because we were afraid we would see Chuck. <laughs> and, he would, and he would be misbehaving. <laughs> And Sharky said, I might not could keep going up and saying, move away from that girl. <laughs> but I remember one night Mary Adams was going to the movie with him, and she had on a dress about this long. And I said, oh, Sharky, my goodness. I said, we were going to that movie too. I said, I just can't go and <laughs> see what happens with them. But Sharky said we would park far away from them. So we did. We drove around, and when we saw where they were, then we drove on over there. But, oh, and they would give, that theater would give the silver dollars for a prize. Mm -hmm. I don't remember what for, but Sharky won it. So then they found out we were there because <laughs> oh. he had to get his $22. Oh, that's that was funny. so funny. Also, Grammy, I got to tell you how funny it is to hear you tell the story of when <laughs> Dad and Mom got together. Because Dad would always tell that story, and he would end it at, and I told, you know, Mom and Dad, I met the girl I'm going to marry. He never mentioned that <laughs> Sharky said, you can't talk like that, you just flunked out of college. <laughs> just, never met him yet, which is That's fantastic. So, well, which is a fantastic that. response. <laughs> Inappropriate. <laughs> that is perfect. That's so fun. <laughs> Y'all get to hear the story from both sides. 